While low-carb abstains from food are famous, it's likewise simple to commit errors on them. There are many hindrances that can prompt unfavorable impacts and imperfect outcomes. To receive all the metabolic rewards of low-carb eats less, just curtailing the carbs isn't sufficient. Here are the five most regular low-carb botches, and how to keep away from them. 1. Eating too many carbs. While there is no severe meaning of a low-carb diet, anything under 100 to 150 grams for each day is commonly viewed as low-carb. This sum is unquestionably significantly not exactly the standard Western eating routine. You may accomplish incredible outcomes inside this carb extend, as long as you eat natural, genuine nourishments. Be that as it may, on the off chance that you need to get into ketosis, which is fundamental for a ketogenic diet, at that point this degree of admission might be over the top. A great many people should go under 50 grams for every day to arrive at ketosis. Remember this doesn't leave you with numerous carb choices, aside from vegetables and modest quantities of berries. Rundown. On the off chance that you need to get into ketosis and receive the full metabolic rewards of low carb slims down, going under 50 grams of carbs every day might be important. 2. Eating too much protein. Protein is a significant macronutrient which the vast majority don't get enough of. It can improve sentiments of totality and increment fat consuming better than different macronutrients, one trusted source. As a rule, more protein should prompt weight reduction and improved body organization. Be that as it may, low-carb weight watchers who eat a ton of lean creature nourishments can wind up eating a lot of it. At the point when you eat more protein than your body needs, a portion of its amino acids will be transformed into glucose by means of a procedure called gluconeogenesis 2 trusted source. This can turn into an issue on low-carb, ketogenic slims down and keep your body from going into all-out ketosis. As indicated by certain researchers, an all-around defined low-carb diet ought to be high in fat and moderate in protein. A decent range to focus on is 0.7 to 0.9 grams of protein per pound of body weight, 1.5 to 2.0 grams per kilogram. Outline. Over-the-top protein utilization on a low-carb diet can keep you from getting into ketosis. 3. Being afraid of eating fat. The vast majority get most of their calories from dietary carbs, particularly sugars and grains. At the point when you expel this vitality source from your eating routine, you should supplant it with something different. In any case, a few people accept that removing fats on a low-carb diet will make your eating routine considerably more advantageous. This is a serious mix-up. In the event that you don't eat carbs, you should add fat to redress. Neglecting to do so could prompt craving and deficient nourishment. There's no logical motivation to fear fat, as long as you stay away from trans fats and pick solid ones like monounsaturated and omega-3 fats. A fat admission around 70% of all-out calories might be a decent decision for certain individuals on low-carb or ketogenic consumes less calories. To get fat into this range, you should pick greasy cuts of meat and generously add sound fats to your suppers. Outline. An exceptionally low-carb diet must be high in fat. Else, you won't get enough vitality or sustenance to continue yourself. 4. Not replenishing sodium. One of the fundamental instruments behind low-carb abstains from food is a decrease in insulin levels, 3 trusted source, 4 trusted source. Insulin has numerous capacities in your body, for example, advising fat cells to store fat and your kidneys to hold sodium, 5 trusted source. On a low-carb diet, your insulin levels go down and your body begins shedding overabundant sodium, and water alongside it. This is the reason individuals regularly dispose of abundance swelling inside a couple of long stretches of low-carb eating. In any case, sodium is a critical electrolyte. Low sodium levels can become dangerous when your kidneys dump a lot of it. This is one explanation individuals get reactions on low carb counts calories, for example, unsteadiness, weariness, migraines, and even obstruction. The most ideal approach to go around this issue is to add more sodium to your eating regimen. You can do this by salting your nourishments, yet on the off chance that that doesn't get the job done, have a go at drinking a cup of stock each day. Synopsis. Low carb eats less carbs lower insulin levels, causing your kidneys to discharge abundant sodium. 
This can prompt a mellow sodium insufficiency. 5. Stopping too soon. Your body is intended to specially consume carbs. Subsequently, if carbs are constantly accessible, that is the thing that your body utilizes for vitality. In the event that you definitely cut back on carbs, your body needs to move to consuming fat, which either originates from your eating routine or your body's stores. It can take a couple of days for your body to adjust to consuming essentially fat rather than carbs, during which you will most likely feel a little sick. This is known as the keto influenza and happens to a great many people who go on ultra low carb abstains from food. In the event that you feel unwell for a couple of days, you might be enticed to stop your eating regimen. In any case, remember that it might take 3 to 4 days for your body to change in accordance with your new routine, with full adjustment taking a little while. In this way, it's imperative to show restraint to start with and carefully stick to your eating regimen. Outline. On a low-carb diet, it can take a couple of days to defeat horrendous manifestations and a little while for full adjustment. It is essential to be persistent and not desert your eating regimen too early. The bottom line. Low-carb diets may offer a potential solution for a portion of the world's greatest medical issues, including corpulence and type 2 diabetes. This is very much bolstered by science, 6, 7, 8 trusted source. In any case, simply decreasing carbs isn't sufficient to get in shape or lift well-being. Make a point to eat an even eating regimen and get enough exercise to accomplish ideal prosperity.